My first ever master set is here, and that's because Scarlet and Violet 151 is finally out! This master set journey is going to be kicked off starting with the poster collection of 151 as well as the binder collection for 151. So both of these will be opened in today's video and we'll take a closer look at the bonus products that come inside. But before we do, you know how it goes. Please comment down below the your answer to the comment question of the day, which is what has your best pull been so far for 151? By the time this video comes out, the set has been out for a few days. So if you've been lucky enough to get your hands on some product, what's your best pull been? Or if you haven't got your hands on any product, which pull are you looking forward to the most? And while you're there, don't forget to like and subscribe. It really helps out the channel, guys. We're trying to grow and hit that 500 subscriber landmark. And if you haven't already, you still have time to join the giveaway from our previous video right here. So if you want more details on that, I'll leave a link in the description. Make sure to check that video out too if you want to win some free goodies. Now let's get to it, starting with the poster collection. Check out this poster that comes with the product. I had no idea how big it was. So it's this big when it's in the box, but I don't even know if I can fit this in the frame. Once you expand it, this thing is huge. It's legitimately a poster. Look, I have to do it sideways just to fit. But on the one side, it is like the Pokedex entries of all the original 151 Pokemon and their silhouettes. There you go, we got Mew ending it off. Snorlax right here where my fingers are, baby. And then on the other side, so it's up to you on which side you want to display. I believe this is the art of most if not all the cards in the entire 151 set i'm not too sure but it is also what appears to be in the pokedex uh entry order as well then of course you have the promos that come with it so here is going to be bulbasaur squirtle and charmander with the cosmo foil promo hollow pattern to them uh, you can see the cosmo goes onto the border as well so here's bulbasaur you got the Squirtle. All the cards in 151 have beautiful, beautiful art. Although technically these are promo cards, so I don't know if you can still count that within 151. Uh, and there's Charmander lighting the way with his tail and ending it off, of course, is the code card so you can get these promos in the TCG. Now the poster product is the product uh, with the least number of packs. It only comes with three. So if we could get at least one hit from the box, I'd say that's a W. And no need to wait. Let's just jump straight into it. Our very first 151 pack on the channel, baby. First pack magic. Let's see how it goes. We have, let, you know what, let's take our time and enjoy the art here. Look at this horsey, because I'm telling you folks, every single card in this set is just absolutely absolutely beautiful to look at even diglet look they even made diglet look cool but stay away from the grabber your opponent reveals their hand and you put a pokemon you find there on the bottom of their deck hence the grabber we got the kingler out of the water with the energy sticker i could always use some stickers do i see a hit back here we got the reverse hypno our very first reverse into the reverse need arena and our one hit hopefully more we got the Charizard EX, let's go! <laughs> Starting things off with a Charizard, baby. And the cool thing about 151 is you can get reverse energy hollows. Yeah, I think I think you would call this reverse, right? So it comes with a Cosmo Hollow, and a lot of these energies, since it has this pattern, can come with swirls. And the swirls have been pretty common, although it doesn't look like we have one here. Maybe up here on the corner, maybe but you know, nothing too apparent. So hopefully we'll see some better ones to give an example with. So I'd already say this box is a W. And if you guys are wondering why I'm starting things off with the poster collection and the binder collection on this channel, I figured everyone is already gonna be covering the ETB right off the bat. Uh, so why not, you know, do this product first uh, so we can take a look at it and then we'll cover the ETB too eventually. Uh, but I thought I would just saturate the market a little bit less. Apologize, I went a little too fast here. I got lost in my thought. But look at this Needle Queen. You don't really see Needle Queen or Needle King in many other sets. Uh, it's nice to have them in here. My champ is looking good, looking pretty swole. And the reverse Taurus 
come on, two for two. Oh, our first holo, the Gengar. That is so nice. Entire evolution line of Ghastly into Haunter and Gengar it is by most people's favorite artist, Tomokazu Komiya. And this card is beautiful. We already hit the holo for it. That's amazing. Do we get another energy? No, this one is just a regular energy. Now the final pack of the poster collection. Let's see if these boxes are worth it. Cause if you're a big poster person and you can get just three packs with a really good chance of getting, you know, more than one hit out of the entire box, then dude, these boxes are gonna be really, really good for you. Take that with a grain of salt. There's the Haunter from the same line I was just talking about. But take that with a grain of salt because obviously we have a very small sample size with just one box. And let's see how our our box even goes in general. We got the Kakuna, whoa, just hanging out. How do you get up there? He's just hanging out. And then no IR from this box, but we do end it off with the Hollow JNC. Look how cute it is. It's just sitting there, it takes up the whole bench. And then behind it, we have the regular fighting energy. So there you go, we got that one hit from that box, so that's cool. Now let's move on to the binder collection. This binder is surprisingly really good quality. I just took it out of the box. It is a nice firm plastic cover, but you know, it's pretty durable. It is an elastic binder, not a zippered one. I know a lot of people prefer zippered binder and I think uh, it is the best way to go. However, I have quite a few elastic binders just like this one and the quality is the exact same. It's actually really good. They did not go cheap on these at all. All. So let's open this up and see if the inside is what I would expect it. So here's some little protective tissue. And yeah, I think this binder might honestly be produced by the same people that uh, make the other binders that I use in my personal collection and they just slap the 151 art on it. Cause this is what the inside of mine looks like too. We have the nice mesh uh, pages. You can, ha it is three by three, and then you can put it front and back with the mesh in between the cards so they don't rub against each other. And there's a lot of pages. There's 29 pocket pages. So I'm definitely holding on to this binder and I'm gonna use it to store my collection. The only other goodies in the box are four packs of the 151. So let's go straight into that and see if the larger sample size of four packs can beat the smaller sample size of three packs. Now you guys, this is my first ever master set and I don't really know the most efficient way to go about it. So if you guys have any tips or tricks on, you know, how to efficiently keep track of a master set or organize it and how to do all the reverse hollows for cards that have reverse hollows and have hollows and you know, all that stuff. If you have any tricks, let me know down in the comment section below. Um, and hopefully I can do things very cleanly. We have the hollow Raichu and the regular metal energy. Pack number two, I would like at least one hit again. I have watched a couple openings of this already in, in a good, you know, a pretty good sample size. And it seems like on average, people are getting uh, about a 25% hit rate. So it's definitely not like on Crown Zenith levels, uh, but at the same time, at least they don't make it completely easy. Uh, so master setting this will be a challenge, but fun at the same time. We got the Doug Trio, Need Arena again. Still nothing, but this time I'm a Champ Hollow, and the regular fighting to back up the Machamp. I just really want to know if we can beat that Charizard. So we got the Porygon, Electabuzz, Rhyhorn, Tangela, Kabuto. Come on, Gloom, Clefable. Our first revert with the rigid band and oh come on the Machoke dude this guy looks so stoic why does he look cooler than Machamp and then oh my goodness no way did I go back to back Zards oh the Golem EX it's not dude it was fighting I thought it was the same color as the Zard let's go we did get our one EX guaranteed <laughs> it's not guaranteed but we did get one EX already so it's definitely not gonna be a hitless box last pack magic of the entire video what are we gonna get let's see can we get a 50 percent hit rate from the binder box these binders are cool man 
So worst case scenario, if you don't get any hits, you do get a really, really solid binder. We got the Porygon. Uh, so no illustration rares in the entire video, but we did get that reverse Gengar already for the master set. And ending things off with the Aerodactyl that has really cool art too. Look at him spitting fire beams. And oh, we doubled up on the shiny psychic energy. So I might have to make me a psychic deck. So look at that one EX and one shiny energy per box. And we did get the Charizard EX with the Golem EX all together from everything we opened. A total of seven packs. Now, if you are new to the channel and you like what you saw, please, please like and subscribe on this video because we post videos every Monday and we'll be covering 151 for sure every single product that comes out. Our next video will be the ETB and we'll cover things like the Alexam boxes, the Zapdos boxes, the UPCs, you name it, we got it. So click right here to watch a previous video and click right here to help you subscribe. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.